Hi guys, Kitty here, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a first impressions and a wee bit of a demo on the Too Faced The Power of Makeup Nikki Tutorials sort of makeup kit. I created this look here, which I absolutely love. I did super contouring and made it quite glammy. Definitely couldn't go to the supermarket in this one. So I give you the pros and the cons of this palette and you get to see how I feel about each shade and things as I work through them. So if you want to know all about that, then keep watching. Okay, so just like my last first impressions, I have done pretty much most of my base. I've contoured the hell out of my uh, face today just because I felt like it. I guess we get started. I don't think there's anything else to say other than check out my cool headband. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the Chocolate Soleil and I'm going to use it as a bronzer and of course it smells like chocolate. The Champagne Truffle also smells like chocolate but the rest of the palette doesn't. See I was under the impression that the entire palette smelled like chocolate but it doesn't. Let's get this shit on. Now I have used the Chocolate Soleil before. I don't know if this is slightly slightly different colour or slightly different formulation but I have used this one before but we'll see. Let's bring that bronzer down, just a little match, matchy matchy. I feel like I can't stop putting this on, like I just feel like more, a little bit more. <laughs> then before I know it, I'm an oompa loompa. So I've got nothing really much to say about that, it to me just looks like the normal chocolate soleil. Now let's whip on some blush. So I'm kind of feeling this peachy one. I'll pop the peachy one on but I don't know if with my skin colour right now because I'm a little bit tan, it's going to show up but we'll give it a go. Oh no, this colour is beautiful. I don't know if it's that it's not very pigmented, but it's kind of the same kind of um, depth, I guess, as my skin tone. So I'm having to put on quite a bit of it to build it up. I sure am having to put quite a bit on though. I think if you had a really pale skin tone, it would look amazing on you. Okay, and now for the exciting part, the highlighter. I'm really excited for this. Now this is Champagne Truffle. Now the thing with this highlighter is that this highlighter is going to look amazing on fair skin as well. Okay. Shall we go? Let's go. Okay. Um, where is it? Is it there? That's a wee bit of a letdown. Okay, maybe if I put some on with my fingers. Like, it's there. Oh, I guess it's like, oh, I guess it's alright. I always have very, very high expectations when it comes to highlighters. If I put it on and it doesn't just go BAM, then I'm like, mmm, not happy. I feel like it applies better with your finger. Um, you can get like a sort of a more concentration of pigment. So it's called Champagne Trouble, but it ain't no champagne pop. Which is a bit unfortunate. It's more of sort of, I feel like, like a subtle sort of glow than like a real glam BAM glow. I would say it's like a mid-intensity highlighter and now it's time for eyes this is the exciting part so the first thing I'm gonna pop on is a wee bit of the Too Faced Shadow Insurance okay that was too much we of too much again so now for the magical part so I'm kind of thinking of doing maybe some sort of like half cut crease style so sort of like maybe a half cut crease here and then just smoke it right out on the corner so and I think for that I'm gonna be using this color here Mystic Hour I think that's gonna be sort of my prime color because it is just oh my god this color just calls my name so much I'm probably not gonna be using some of the Better Than Sex mascara because this mascara is purple so I'm gonna be putting on false eyelashes so I just don't know when is a time I'm ever really gonna use a purple mascara. Cute idea but I don't know really how usable and practical it is. So the first shade that I'm gonna be popping all over my eyelid as per usual is this uh, cream shade here and this is called Ivy. Whoa okay incredibly pigmented for a cream colour. I feel like that just attacked me. I'm not too sure about that eyeshadow primer. It feels like the powder is actually clinging to it a wee bit. So first I'm going to go in and start building my crease and I'm going to start with this shade here called Painkiller. It's a really quite a gorgeous pan brown colour. I don't know how I feel about the pigmentation actually. I'm having to really really build the colours. I'm really having to load my brush up to get a good colour payoff out of this. And now with the same brush I'm just going to go in with Makeup and Chill and I'm just going to pop that a wee bit closer to my natural crease line. Okay so now that I have my sort of my crease colours in I'm just going to go in now with the NYX eyeshadow base and this one is in skin tone and I'm just going to cut out the beginning of a crease. I'm not going to do it all the way along though. I'm just going to do it maybe halfway through the eye. Okay so now I'm going to take that color mystic hour and I'm going to start building up the front of my eyes. So to try and get a wee bit more punch out of that color I'm going to uh, wet my brush with some MAC Fix Plus and hopefully that's going to increase the intensity a wee bit. Oh yes come to mama. Okay that's so much more intense so I'm a lot happier with that now. So now to smoke that entire corner out I'm just going to go straight in with makeup and chill. 
And now to just darken that corner up even more, I'm going to go on top with Wanted, which is a pure matte black. So for that inner corner, I'm going to go in with Sugar Coated, which is a really nice, sparkly, uh, really light pink. That eyeshadow was really sparkly and it's a glitter all over my face again. So the liner that I'm going to use is this little pen liner here and it's come out of her kit as well. And it's the Too Faced Sketch Marker in black. But that's so good. I quite like it. It would take a little bit to get used to still, but um, I don't feel like I'm perfect at it, but it's not too bad. I'm feeling a little bit now though, now that my eyes are pretty much put together, that maybe it just needs something a little bit else. So I think I am actually going to pop a wee bit of this glitter that came in the pack also. And this is in Glitterly. I'm just going to pop a wee bit of champagne truffle on my brow bone as well. Okay, so I'm just going to go and pop on my lashes, finish my eye look, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is my final look. I added a wig of course. I just decided to be blonde today. So for my lashes, I tried the XO Beauty lashes again because they are so pretty but my god that band is so thick. I thought maybe I'd even try cutting them in half to make it a little bit easier and made one eye easier and then the other eye was just like no easier at all. So um, the ones that I'm wearing are in the center and my lippy that I am also, that I also put on was the Colourpop Ultra Matte and this one is in Midi. So my entire thoughts of this palette and kit, I quite like it. I think it would be better for lighter skin. Uh, the pigmentation possibly could have been a little bit better. Oh, I love this blush shade. Can we just talk about that blush shade? Overall, it's a really beautiful palette and I like the way that she put the kit together. So you've got the glitter and you've got the mascara and you've got everything. Everything in the kit was pretty good. I don't know if I really like the eyeshadow primer. I love Nikki and I love that she did this whole entire kit. So I'm so thankful that I got my hands on it. And you'll definitely be seeing more looks from this palette in future. If there's a certain color or a certain look that you'd like me to do, just drop that down below. And if you liked this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and you'll be seeing my face again in the next one.